data. Destroy it quickly. Generated to a pile of scrap. Good. Go on. Not working. Denied. 
elevator now activated. Mental probe test number two. 
gonna get me, you bitch! Ah! No! He's mine! Hold on, Kay! What are you trying to do, sister? Ah! Get back to whatever hellhole you crawled from, you bitch! Are you okay? Can you move? I stopped her for a moment, but... It's just a scratch. Deep in my brain. Snap out of it! The teleports are activating again. Destroy the last generator! Huh? Minikin Armorer! Good Minikin! can fix.
for armor. Good. More armor. Good. Trash this. Crash this. Our situation is pretty bad. I guess I'll have to destroy more of those teleports. It helped a bit, but she's opening more and more of them and pushing her zombies all over the ship. She'll control the whole ship soon. I'm sorry, but I don't see a way to win this. Those guys from the relief squadron should see she's the main target, not us. I don't think they'll help us. They'll probably destroy the whole ship when they get here and see how bad it is. You're giving up? If we can't win, we'll have to run. I don't see any way to run from this. I think there's a way. There are two small exploration ships on board. Ship small? No hyperspace! Can't fly away! I know, Minikin, but there might be a way. It will be risky, but I think we could push the exploration ship to hyperspace. No can do! Much power! Ship small! I'll need to make some calculations, but there's a chance. We need to secure the ship first. I doubt she'll just let us fly away. And that's why we'll have to destroy the Meridian. But first the ship. I've marked the location on the map. And take this. It's a teleport anchor. If we work out how to use the ship, where are we going to fly? Home? We have three options. We can use the ship to just escape and possibly reach Relief Squadron. Or we can either try to jump back to Earth or to Tau Ceti. Relief Squadron or Earth. Best case, we'll be killed or imprisoned. So, Tau Ceti it is. That sounds tricky. We'll be like space castaways. Scout mission reported that the biosphere is mostly compatible with us. If we get there, we'll survive. Destroying the whole ship sounds fun, but how are we going to do it? Leave it for later. I have a plan that should work, and provide us with a boost we'll need for escape. Destroying the whole ship sounds fun, but how are we going to do it? Leave it for later. I have a plan that should work and provide us with- You must train your brain capacity so I can activate more of your abilities.
I'm detecting a force field on the way. You'll have to disable or destroy its power sources. The opposition seems to be light. Move quickly! Up until you drop time. It should just be found at the I'll be on the lookout for upgraded types.
creatures. There are some teleport anchors in the hall. You need to destroy them. times do I have to kill you? Wait, that's not all. There's another! And another! Their signature is weaker than the original, but... Well, this is going to be fun. idea of a joke?
Deal with the enemies first. The area looks clear. Go check the entrance to the airlock. Wait a moment. Yes, I'm uploading you keys. Try to hack it now. Drop those swords, asshole. We can replace the teleport blockers and he'll put the ship. think about teleports. Yes. Minikin already blocked some of the access ways here. We need to secure the ship. How are we going to fit all we need in that ship? Well, yes. It's meant for a small crew for exploration in the target solar system. The trip will be long. We'll have to get hibernation capsules and fill the ship with tools and as much resources as we can take. Minikin will take care of it. Destroying the- Leave it for later. I have a plan that should- That thing sent a message to the squadron. She used a simulation of Belik. The zombies and mutants are bad enough, but if she'll be able to use Navy units and Marines against us, 
We must hurry. What about your evil twin? I found some notes in Wagner's logs, and I think I know who she is. I've seen some of the stuff before, but I never realized what it meant. She's a control sample. Or maybe I am. Sample? <sighs> when Wagner made me, he actually made two of us. It seems that we've both been created as a sort of artificial intelligence. He made a model of the brain in virtual reality, and only later downloaded it in our biological bodies. Do you remember how I told you about my childhood? How I grew up in a virtual reality in fast-forward mode? Simply speaking, he let me grow up mostly as a human. Well, almost. But he kept my emotions, my mentality, rather close to standard human. She's just... machine. No emotions, no empathy, nothing. Just cold, hard logic. When I look at her, it's almost like I'm seeing myself in the mirror. I think I could have ended up like her. I actually was a lot like her at the start, when I first met you. Exactly as Belix said about me. But I've embraced my human side. Thanks to you and Minikin. Ugh. Let's stop talking about this, okay? We now have to reconfigure FTL propulsion, or what's left of it after Wagner played with it. It would normally create an envelope around the whole meridian and force her out of normal space. We'll reprogram it to create a bubble around our escape ship and push it to a one-way jump. Neither the propulsion nor power systems are designed for this, not for the amount of energy we'll need. But if everything works according to my calculations, we'll end up in a jump and the whole meridian will be destroyed in a massive explosion. So we'll be essentially killing two birds with one stone. Explosions. I like the sound of that. We have to hurry. We need to do this before she kills us. Or before the relief squadron arrives. Or before she realizes what I'm trying to do and blocks our modifications. Hopefully my red herring will distract her for long enough. It works pretty well, don't you think? I know you hate them, but they give us the tactical flexibility we need. And I'm learning how to use them to block her, which is good. The modifications you'll be making will look like we're attempting to make a sort of teleport cage. She'll be able to overcome it easily, so hopefully she won't look deep enough to see what else we're putting there.
door. And be ready. I've just lost all sensor signals from the area. It's possible she teleported something nasty in there. see anyone yet. Ninjas. But not Belix early models. And there's something else. Start the attack. You've been discovered. I would like to know what you are trying to accomplish here. I'll get the answers from your brain later. Die. Mission failed. Die. Mission failed. Get the puppies. I found an area with a pack and stasis. I was hoping for more time to completely reprogram them. But I've decided to get them and use them. Now go over all remaining consoles and set them according to the data I sent you. I'll do that. And you can try looking for more dogs. I could use them later.
Prepare your knees. We're ready. As much as we can be. All we need is to prepare the reactors to explode. So, big bada boom? I'll teleport you to the reactor core control. You'll have to clear the area and disable the failsafes. As soon as Minikin finishes with the jump drive modifications, he'll join you and help you with setting the main reactor to overcharge. You sure it will work? The power surge will cause a meltdown and a cascade of power failures. Once it starts, it will be quick. We'll use the teleport conduits to suck the power to the jump drive. It will catapult us into a one-way hyperspace jump, and the Meridian will be destroyed in the process. Together with that evil bitch. I guess your evil twin will try to stop us. She knows we secured the ship, but I hope she'll think we'll try to run to the relief squadron. I sent a distress message to the squadron and let her intercept it. Hopefully, she'll not realize our plan until it's too late. You're right on the spot. I'm detecting more teleports. She'll try to stop you.
You are not going anywhere. Don't fight her! Just get to me! Shut up, sister. Oh no! She's locking me out! Silence. Let's concentrate on our fight, shall we? I'm constantly underestimating you. But no longer. I will deal with you personally. There's no way out. After I kill you, I'll teleport to my stupid little sister. <coughs> 
cool. If I have to die here, I want to finish you first. Finally, I found you. She teleported just a short hop away. If you can get away, I should be... Don't interfere, sister. by now. Come back, you bitch. It's too late to run. You should know by now that taunts don't work on me. you see? You're wrong. I'm just starting.
Minikin, I think I can teleport you too if I'll... No! No time! Master Spoon, no! They hear! I... Minikin... Good luck! No! Forget Minikin! Never. You're the best. Launch! Launch now! The small exploration ship managed to activate its faster-than-light propulsion just a split second before being devoured by the gigantic explosion that hopefully destroyed the ESS Meridian together with the infestation and the dimensional nexus. It was a long journey to Tau Ceti. The heroes of this story spent it alternating between dreamless sleep and hibernation pods and making frantic repairs needed to keep the battered ship going. When they finally arrived, they immediately took their failing ship down to the planet, hoping to find a place where they could safely land with their ship intact. It didn't work as well as they'd hoped. But they survived the crash landing and began their new life on the planet's surface. It was a life full of adventures and mysteries, and a story for another day. Don't worry. Everything's fine. We're on our way. Really? Because it seems we're still on board. No. This is virtual reality. You're in the hibernation pod. I awoke your brain in a slowed down mode and connected you to this virtual world I've made. I've spent the last two months recreating the Meridian from the latest data. It was simplest to recreate the Meridian from the data I brought. There are some other VR environments from the recreational database if you prefer. And I've already started with a simulation of Tau Ceti, so we can be ready for what's awaiting us. The simulation is rather realistic, so you can continue with training, replaying your previous missions. Whatever you want. Or we can just talk. What about the Meridian? The explosion occurred as I calculated. There might be some small pieces of debris left, but that's all. How long is the flight again? The jump put us just a bit over the speed of light. So a few years in real time for me is a few weeks for you. Too bad Minikin can't be here with us. I miss him too, but he sacrificed himself so we can live. Let's talk about him later, okay? I'm working on a simulation of what we might expect there. We have some data from the scout mission and some of Wagner's notes. There's clearly something strange going on there. I think a lot of Wagner's ideas originated from there. So I'm calling the simulation Tau Ceti, Unknown Origin. But it's mostly guesswork. I feel like I'm making a computer game. Can I play it? Are there monsters for me to kill? Soon. I'm working on it when I'm not here with you. Why don't you wake me completely? You said we'd be awake in shifts. Yes, I did. But the ship is in pretty bad shape. I had to be ready to fix things at a moment's notice. I'm sorry, but I didn't think you'd be up to some of the repairs I had to make already. So I have to stay awake for the entire flight. And you feel lonely and bored, right? Yes. The life support might not handle both of us for much time, but this way I can occasionally wake you up for a bit so we can talk. Hi.
Got a problem, Kay? 